Alright, let's continue our C25 attempts at improvement. Ooh, Hellhorn again. Nice. Oh, this is a powerful combo. Powerful starters. If I lose this, I suck. This is a free win. I probably shouldn't be thinking of it this way, but honestly, it's... We'd have to really fuck up not to, to win here, I think. It's like literally the power. It might be the most powerful combo in the game, I think. Uh, Fade's first blade. I mean, I do have burnout extenders. It probably won't do anything, but for now I can do it to get through ring one, I think. I think we can take it. I mean, we got, we got a lot of strength here. We'll just blast every... Uh, okay, we're going to put you here then. If I have this guy die... It's iffy. It's iffy. Alright. We're going to do these behind. We only need one. I need... Huh. Yeah, I don't know about all this. Oh, whatever. All I need is... Let's see what comes back here. Okay, that'll just go here then. And we'll just do that. Oh, I should have done the, the imp. Well, if we want to save our life here, I can do that. But he's only going to hit me for... Um, he's going to hit me for a bit. <sighs> this ain't good. We're just going to let him hit us for a bit. It's 12. It's not great, but it is what it is. Horrible health to, to be on here. So 6. We're going to put that in front. And that behind, and that'll do it. Alright. I thought it was a little too risky not to Inferno the bottom. Maybe I could have gotten away with Infernoing the top. Welder Helper. Yeah. Yup. This is like, oh my. Okay, no need for Welder Helper anymore. We got the Molten Encasement. I mean, we can still use it. Yeah, Wicklash. Maybe we'll just do this. I think... I want to put Fledgling into Fledgling still. And then I can just have this be there. It doesn't need an infusion. Let's go for the Endless for sure, though. We can we can reform the ones that aren't Endless. Nice, we already got it. So which one do we want Endless? The Tomb or the Imps? Probably the Imp, right? I think I do want the Fledgling into the Fledgling. Well... We don't have that luxury yet. Ooh. I could do a two floor setup. Could also just do Wickless on the floor. Decisions, decisions. Let's do a big sludge. It's been a while since I've actually used this unit. Health is welcome. Multi strike, sure. Let's act. I guess we'll just actually use the unit. I was thinking like we'd infuse it, but hey, if it's if that's what it's given us, that's what it's given us. We'll be glad to have big sludge against this boss. That's a lot of damage for a unit draft. And I don't necessarily have great ways to deal with this. I think we skip this. Let's see, I can block two of them. Hmm. Am I gonna use this then? Let's I, I guess I'm still gonna do this, I don't know. I want to get like some slays here. I want that money. Still want that to die. OK. 
Okay. We'll do that. It still dies. I'll take one damage. I probably should have just let that die. Whatever. One damage sometimes is relevant. Many times it isn't. Let's do this. I think that solidifies victory. I'm pretty sure this just solidifies victory. That's a lot of damage coming in at that boss. Boom. Alright. Ritual of Battle. If I do that, I no longer have to really do fledgling into fledgling. I could take the molten encasement and put it into the fledgling, which would probably be better. Let's do that. Damn. There's a lot of shit I can do here. I think I'm taking that. We're getting a little sloppy here. Uh, Merchant of Steel side? Maybe. If I do that, do I just want the money? I think we go this route. I don't really need to take a banner unit to like try to infuse into Big Sludge, because he's good enough on his own. I'm going to do that for the hell of it. Um... If I'm playing it with the big sludge floor, I want it to burn out. So that's that. And do I want health on anything? Uh, do I even want to reroll? I don't know. Probably not. Ooh, Blessed Sword. I feel like Blessed Sword isn't necessarily needed. What about Petrified Skull? Let's do a petrified school. Oh, summon abilities, yes. Let's just purge a steward. Call it good. Alright. 35 shards isn't too bad. We're definitely not. I, I would say we have not. We're, we're on the outskirts of uh, Shardsville here. Do I want you on the bottom? With it probably makes the most sense to do this. My thinking is if I if I do this and I stealth her, the the imps I put down are not gonna explode anyway. So might as well just do that. Put her there. Maybe I should have re-rolled for the possibility of endless. Let's see if we can jump block a little bit here. This still hits me. I can do that. Then it doesn't hit me. Just do that. Need to hit that, uh... Okay, we'll hit it here. I may want to consider just keeping the pool just this at the moment. I think I am going to keep the pool clean for now. So I only want that coming back. Alright, we've got some decent amounts of stealth. Alright, we executed well. stand. Rail beater. Hmm. 
<laughs> I could put rail beater on to the. I think we're doing pip. There's a few ways I can go about this. All right, let's do our. Let's start hell venting. I want to get rid of Stewie's. We're going into Shardsville. I think it's time. But I feel okay about it. So we're going to take encasement. I'm already basically a fledgling into a fledgling here. I could technically get like 20 rage a turn. Uh, but I mean, I'll get that anyway by hell venting this. I guess I could get 40 rage a turn, but I don't get. I, I, I'm pretty sure I just want the, uh, the stealth. I feel like that's kind of the way to go here. I could do that, I could do that. This one probably makes the most sense. Intrinsic. On nothing. We're already going well enough into Shardsville here. Imperialist or Imp Parade? I might as well get the Imp Parade. Then we'll have even more fledgling imps to throw around. This mark shouldn't be too bad. We could probably just... Let's see... One... Two, so we get the backliner. Have you just sitting there. Get some damage in on them. So I could go here. I could, you know, uh, I should have put you down first. That's the plan. Well, whatever. Kind of fucked that up, but whatever. Uh, let's do this for one more kill. Try to minimize the damage we're taking here to the pyre. Probably. Let's see. I think I'm going to try to finish things down below. I mean, yeah, I do have 106 by whatever there, but... I don't know. Let's keep that one... Are we going out or in with that? I say we keep it out. This is probably going to be the setup. Like, I could go mid against Divinity, or still top. I mean, I, s I could go top with one of them, whoever's... At a certain point, I can mix and match these, you know? that you go twice. Yeah, this is fine. We'll eventually get another one or two of those imps. Pirate Chomper. I don't think so. I think I'm skipping this. Hallowed Halls. Even that's kind of iffy. I don't think I really need anything more. Like, I could do an engulfed in smoke, I guess. It's probably not the worst. Just have an extra th thing of D. That's what she said. We don't have any rail beater upgrades, but this side over here is just better, so... Rail beater doesn't really need an upgrade, is a great thing. We really don't need these hallowed drippings, I feel. I did take that rage thing, but... I think it's high time we get rid of them. I think we'll be sitting pretty for this Seraph the Patient, too. Is there anything I really need to infuse? If I don't need to infuse any of these, I don't feel I should. I'll tell you what, I could put Welder Helper into Rage Imp. That way, it comes back. Uh, it gives, you know, stuff to the whole floor. It helps with some spikes type shit. Ooh, okay, okay. 
And what are we going to remove here? Let's remove two of these imps, I think. Remove consume. I could do that there. I have potential issues clearing divinity tank waves, so I think that's fine. The inferno's probably not too good, if I'm being honest. Wait, does that did I have a minus two? No, it's plus thirty. Okay. Minus two should probably go. No, I only have inferno as magic damage. It's kind of rare. I could double stack that, but I'm kind of starved for ember as it is. See, so we won't. I'm gonna keep that gold. Oh, moment of truth with the spikes. I think I've got enough health to do this. I'm gonna focus on big sludge against this boss, I think. I think that's probably the smart thing to do. Forgotten uh, whatever is gonna be pretty good here. Petrified skull. It's not forgotten skull, it's petrified skull. Do it like that, I guess. I can still fit one in, which is fine. And we've got no rage. Just don't know how much I need to waste on this floor, you know? Oh, they're not. This is just the normal one. This is the one that gives armor to the whole floor. I'll just do that to get the uh, thing. It works. Save some health up here. Alright, here we go. I'm pretty sure I want to be stacking everything on this guy. He's already losing some health. And let's not play that. We want to be getting back the. Uh, the whatever you call it. Maybe I should do this though. We'll get rid of that. We want to be getting back the Welder Helper, but at the same time I need to clear sh some of the shit out. Like, I can't really afford to have that shit coming into my thing. Okay, we're definitely keeping him out at this point. Gotta take at least one of these out. that guy. It's like impossible to draw that motherfucker apparently. Well at this point we're not going to probably get the armor but hopefully we're good on the damage here. It looks like we are. Boom. Big sludge getting it done. I guess we'll take that. That It's funny that I have both of these because it's like you know, either one makes you want to go one way, but when you have both, your, your options are kind of opening up. I think important work beats out Imp in a Box here. Just playing our Imps over and over again is pretty powerful. You can maybe argue Mortal Enchantment, but it's pretty redundant with stealth. I would say... Interesting. I don't know which route is better here. Like, the Rail Beater would love some upgrades. Just some health would be fine. Uh, I don't think anything else really would be that great. A multi strike, of course, but like all the other upgrades aren't necessarily that good. Whereas over here, I could remove more things, get a potential. I mean, I can't imagine I have many more artifacts other than like rage artifacts, I guess, but like. Like, I already got kind of all the, the two best artifacts, really the one best artifact right here, Ashes of the Fallen. Let's go this route, I think. Let's see what we're working with here. Spell Chain, I'm pretty sure that's going there. Yep. 
as it often always does. Piercing, we don't need that. Don't think we need to do anything there. Actually, this still works. I still get my extinguish twice, so I get four stealth each turn. That's amazing. Well, we'll just do this. We are still doing a two-floor setup. Unless I really want to try the other thing, but I don't think so. 25 health. Oh, and I have, uh... I have the fire... I forgot I have Firestone Housing. We could do that. Quick almost isn't good for him. We could just give him some initial rage. Even with him, the quick is like... I mean, maybe quick on him. I don't know. I guess we could do quick. Does that really make much sense, though? I don't know if this deck that quick makes much sense. Let's just give him some rage. We can probably spend a purge here. Ah, oh, shit, I have hope for peace. God damn it. Uh, I always forget that. I, the Inferno, oddly enough, might be my worst card. Nah, these Queen Zemplings, because I can't play them. I can't play them. I can I can leave one around in the off event that I get a Transcendent. It's two more chances at it. Incant. Damn. Okay, we're just gonna do this and that, I guess. Goddamn queen simplings I remove all of them. I just keep drawing them, apparently. Alright, let's put one of y'all there. One of y'all here. And here. Get rid of that. Oh, we might be able to do it with this floor right here. I mean, this is pretty good. We're gonna try for a second floor kill. It's doesn't really matter, I suppose, but... <laughs> I can't actually get to him because they don't multi-strike, but once the boss rounds come around, he's fucking just way dead. Consumes. Spell shield ain't no damage shield. Boom. Thousand damage from Shard Tail, not bad. That, by the way, if you refer back to my guide, is a good good example of Shard Tail being able to be a carry in the Imperialist Imp Parade type scenario. There's no Transcendent, by the way. We're insane enough without a Transcendent. I mean, these artifacts, these infusions, yeah. Now, if I get enough armor, I could do a One Horn Tome. Don't have enough ember for it. And probably just gonna hit these up. I might just skip here. I could, I could endless something. But uh, I'm pretty sure I don't need that. I think we just want those imps. Pip. 
I want to fit everything on that floor. This is just too good. That'd be crazy not to. I might e I might even just put one of these into one of these. For the hell of it. Yeah, why not? We're so powerful. Let's just do this. It's worth a removal. And I still have one queen in case, for whatever reason, I do find a transcendent here. Now we're getting those fledglings every turn. Much better than the imps per, uh, queen zimpling. Spell shield does literally nothing to us. Just set up here still, and then top with uh, what's his name because the stealth here could be an issue. We'll do that. Oh, not that. That. Wait, why are you dying? Oh, because of fucking spikes. Bullshit. Okay, whatever. Well, in that case, I'll do this just so I take out everything here. How did that guy get so little damage done to him? Hmm. Let's do that. That was interesting. I forgot that he's infused with that shit, but I'll take it. Uh, if I do this... Taking a ton of damage there. I cut off half his health, he still takes like half my fucking pyre off. That's super cool, bro. It's pretty big though. Uh, it's about to get bigger. It's about to get bigger. Don't think they're gonna be able to stop me, it's just a wild guess. are dead. Nice. <laughs> Another one? Uh, what about Impinavox? I could get Transcendent. What's where's the Hellvent? It is on the Merchant of Magic side. But I've already got a few Ember upgrades to make. I don't need another one. Let's take this. Sacred Wicks. Shardville. Okay. If I do this correctly, I... Technically, going to give me a lot of armor to the front unit. Well, let's think about this. We've got a few choices there. Could do that to imp in a box, honestly, but is it really that needed? Kind of not. I think we should just remove the inferno, maybe. That down to one is fine. Even though it's 
really not. Oh, that on hold ever is amazing. I mean, shit. I probably put. I probably want to hellvent that. In all honesty. Uh, so let's get that down. We could do that, and we could remove the inferno. We've got three of them. Patient, we want to find it soon, but I also have engulfed in smoke. I think we just hellvent that. We get a perfect 200 there. I like it. Horrible turn to draw that. Well, there's not much we can do here. I mean, I could put this guy down, but... Eh, let's just do that. He does technically survive put you here and I guess do that. Oh, this really couldn't get much worse. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're fucking talking. Oh, wait. No, that wasn't the guy. <laughs> Shit. Oh, fuck me. 114. Okay, I need to be careful here. Fuck me. Let's do this so I can troll him into down here. And we'll play that just so it's out of there. One health. Good thing I didn't play anything more. I didn't think it was that close, so I was like, I, I just kind of eyed the numbers, and I was like, he's close to dead. Apparently very fucking close to dead he is. So let's try to get him some armor, uh, you know, actually make mold braces work for us here. We'll do this. 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 That. much armor I'm getting. 90 already. Oh, what the hell. I need to... I keep fucking that up. Um, do that. We can do as much of this as we want. Better be getting a flying kill here. Sacrifice the wrong one. It doesn't matter. I don't know which floor I'm really. I, maybe this would have been the better one to get flying kills on. Probably would have been, but it's a little too late, I think, for me to get a flying kill. So we'll just live with it. Didn't put them in the right one to get the armor, but whatever. 
pretty sure at this level of stats we're not going to be dying. A casual 90 stealth applied. <laughs> We're gonna make it 92. Boom. 666. Nice. That was all part of the plan, actually. It's not easy doing math like that. One health and 666. Let me tell you, I'm a math wizard. This one's weird. I think I have enough health here to buffer a few turns. But the opener hand sucks otherwise. Literally a few, few being three. Alright, we'll do this here. Do that. They're all stealth now. Wait, that's not the one. Fuck. How many times is it gonna fuck me like that, in all honesty? Here, let's put you guys here. I will sack that one. And then do that. No need to be greedy. Honestly, I'm probably never going to draw back into that thing anyway. Unless I really want to be, you know, a certain way about this. I guess I could do a few of these. Yeah, we got it. There were moments of messiness. Um, let's see. Why don't we just do... Let's do that in the back. That in the back. How can I best do this? Here we go. Perfect. Uh, Alright, and then I'm just going to do this here. Just realized the uh, double extinguish actually works on that artifact too, so I'm actually getting like... What is that? 8, 16 armor each time from that? Is that right? Yeah. I'm getting six, 16 armor every time those die. Didn't notice that till now. Shows how much attention I pay. Alright, let's do this. Here we go big here. Probably should have just fit the uh, sludge onto this floor instead of the rail beater. I feel like I just have a soft spot for rail beater. He's won me so many games lately. I'm surprised we're not killing that. Just put that one there. I suppose I should put that down first.
shit, that backline is gonna get through then. Well, not if I can have any say in that. Okay, it's not gonna happen then. Alright, we might be able to do this then. I did it in the wrong order here. There we go. We'll just let that one cycle out. Didn't even do much for Sludge, but just in that amount was able to kill him. I don't know. It was a pretty fun run. I feel like that might be a good one for me to take clips from for some, like, bread and butter stuff. Like I said, there's... This combo just has so many things you can do with it. I wouldn't even say that was necessarily... I mean, apparently I have the highest summon triggers I've had, but... It's because I was almost meme level there for a bit, but... I don't know, I wouldn't say it was necessarily... It, it was a definitely an insane deck, don't get me wrong. Ashes, anytime you have Ashes of Fallen and a bunch of Imps, but it's like... I don't know, I feel like you can pretty often get something like this going. Not necessarily with Ashes of the Fallen, but the rest of this. Anyway, that'll do it for this one. We'll give MVP to... I'm going to just give it to Fledgling Imp and Mol Molten Encasement. That, that particular infusion in either direction whichever one makes more sense usually with shard tail the fledgling imp is the one you want to keep that particular infusion i've done a lot of times and it works out great every time so we'll give the mvp to that until next time peace